Hey guys, what's up? It's Michael at Play Tech. Today is March 7, 2012, and I'm going to talk about the new iPad. So if you didn't already know, I'm sure all of you knew, but Apple announced the new iPad. It is not called the iPad 3. It is not called the iPad HD. It's just called the new iPad. Now the first product Apple talked about at this event was the Apple TV. There is a new full 1080p HD Apple TV coming for $100 on March 16th. Now the new Apple TV is not the actual big TV that everybody was speculating rumors about. It is still just this little box that will cost you $100. One thing that's new to it is that it does have a little bit of a new UI layout, so a new user interface. It looks a little bit more like iOS and that's kind of to be expected considering Apple is trying to take the Mac and everything and pretty just making it iOS. After they were finished talking about the Apple TV, they started talking about the new iPad. Now, the new iPad, the only thing that changed with the design itself was the size and the weight. The size of the new iPad now is going to be 7.31 inches wide, 0.37 inches thick, and it's going to weigh 1.44 pounds. Now, the old iPad 2 was only 0.34 inches thick, so it is a little bit thicker, but that's so that they can pack in all the new features that it has. It's also a little bit heavier. The old iPad 2 was 1.33 pounds, and this one is 1.44 pounds. But other than those two things, the design is exactly the same as the as the old iPad 2. The storage is still 1632 and 64 gigabyte. There is no 128 gigabyte storage option available to you guys. But the good news is that the price point will be exactly the same as the old iPads. So if you want a 16 gigabyte, it will be starting off at $500. And the old iPad 2, which I think this is a really good deal, the iPad 2 will now be going down to $400. So you can get an iPad 2 starting at $400. That's a really good deal. Now to talk about some of the cooler stuff, the third generation iPad will feature a retina display screen. It'll be 248 by 1536 pixel resolution at 264 pixels per square inch. Now the processor in this thing is still going to say dual core, which kind of sucks because everybody was wanting a quad core, but it will be the Apple A5X dual core chip. And one thing that's really good is that they're going to have a quad core graphics card in it. So that'll be really nice for games. They also have built in 4G LTE for AT&T and Verizon. And they will also have this available in different countries uh, with different carriers. I believe I saw Rogers and Bell was one of the two carriers out that's not in the United States. But in the United States, AT&T and Verizon will have 4G LTE iPad for sale. The back of the iPad also got a camera update. It now has a five megapixel camera with 1080p video recording. That is the back of the iPad, not the front. I was hoping more for a front camera upgrade because I don't ever use the back of the iPad camera, but oh well. The battery life for the new iPad will also stay at 10 hours. That is great. I was very, very excited for that. I love the battery life on the iPad too. I've had to never pretty much recharge that thing. It always lasts me almost the whole day, usually, unless I'm do watching a lot of videos or using it a lot. But 10 hour battery life and all these features is something that they should really be proud of. They also announced voice dictation for the iPad. They did not announce Siri. You cannot hold down the home button and uh, talk to it like you can with the iPhone 4S, which I thought was a little weird, but they do have a new microphone button on the keyboard now. And basically you will be able to talk into that and it should type what you're saying. I don't know why they didn't add Siri. A lot of people are thinking that they will eventually add Siri in maybe iOS 6 or a, a higher iOS. But I, if, I think it kind of sucks. I was really hoping, ho hoping for uh, Siri, but at least we got the retina display. That's probably my favorite thing with the new iPad. But they do have voice dictation now, so you'll be able to, you'll probably be able to send like a tweet using your voice and then just press send on the iPad. So that's pretty cool. Now also at the event, Apple announced a few new apps and updated a few apps. So they updated GarageBand, iMovie, and iWork for the iPad. And those updates are available for free if you already have purchased those apps. If you haven't purchased those apps, you can do so in the App Store. They also announced a new app, iPhoto for iPad. Now iPhoto for iPad pretty much brings the desktop iPhoto app to the iPad only. I think it's better. You can change the color, you can add colors, you can pretty much do more things on the iPad on the iPhoto on the iPad than you can on the Mac uh, iPhoto app. So that's pretty cool and that will be available today. And so are the updates. The updates are available today and iPhoto is available today and iPhoto will cost $5 and you can get all that today. But other than that guys, that's pretty much gonna do it. The iPad is available in black and white for AT&T, Verizon, and Wi-Fi. 4G LTE for AT&T and Verizon also has uh, internet carriers on different countries, like I said. But that's pretty much going to do it, guys. Now, the big question is, are you guys going to be getting the new iPad, the iPad third generation? 
Leave a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. I love reading them. I love reading comments. I reply to like 80% of my comments too. Uh, me personally, I'm going to try my best to get one on day one. If not, I'll probably end up getting one within a week or so, maybe two weeks at the most. But it does release on March 16th, so I should be standing in line, hopefully, unless I can get a pre-order. That'd be really nice. But I'm going to try to get the iPad and have uh, coverage for you guys on day one, March 16th. But otherwise, guys, that's pretty much going to do it. Please don't be hesitant to subscribe. Hit that yellow button on screen right now, and you will be notified when I have more iPad the new iPad event coverage. I was going to call it iPad 3, but that's not the name of it. We'll probably end up calling it that anyways. But be sure to subscribe if you want uh, more coverage on the new iPad, and I'll be sure to post videos of it. I'm actually working on a trailer right now for it, a uh, customized trailer that I customized. So be, look on, be on the lookout for that. But that's it, guys. I'll see you later. Please be sure to subscribe and leave comments. See ya.